What's up guys, Charles from Shootings there. Welcome to a new video and today we're taking a look at this lens, the Viltrox Autofocus 13mm f1.4 for the Nikkor Z mount. This is for APS-C cameras like the Nikon Z50 which I'm filming on right now which is one of the best cameras in the market which you can buy at the moment for its price. So yeah, let's check out what's inside the box. So pretty exciting. This is not a new lens. This is uh, actually, I think came out quite some time ago. So inside the box comes with a bag, some papers as well, instructions manual and stuff. And uh, let's take a look at the lens. And it looks really, really very nice with this red touch over here. There's a C, no idea what the C stands for. Uh, 13 millimeters and it also has the aperture over here from f1.4 all the way to f16. And you also have an A here. I'm, I'm guessing this is auto. Lens hood is plastic. The cap should also be plastic. Viltrox cap. And then this is the lens, fully metal. Uh, aluminium body looks very nice. This is a 67 millimeters filter tread. If you want to buy an uh, ND filter, which I definitely will get, you have the uh, focus ring. Feels pretty pretty decent. Uh, there is a little bit of resistance, no clicking, but of course for this portion, oh, it doesn't have any clicks as well. The uh, aperture ring doesn't have any clicks, so it just slides smoothly. Yep, so that's pretty nice. And then uh, let's check out, you see blue, like a trimming around the lens. Yep, so it's a rubber seal. So that's nice to know that it is a weather sealing around the, uh, the, the, the ring of the uh, mount area. So that's pretty neat. This costs, I believe about 400 uh, US dollars or something, four to 500. So yeah, we're just gonna check out how's the quality of this lens. We're gonna do some vlogging because 13 millimeters uh, APS-C, you have to multiply by 1.5 and that would give you, it's a 19.5 millimeters full frame equivalent focal length. So that's really, really nice for landscape photos and stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna test it out uh, on the Nikon Z50, of course. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just try it out on the Z62 as well, though that's a crop. I believe there will be some vignetting. Uh, let's go test it out right now. All right, guys, so we did the same test on the Canon R6 Mark II and it looked absolutely brilliant. That is a, a brand new, super fast full frame camera this is an APS-C from 2020 or 2021 i believe i think 2020 so yeah i'm just going to give you a different view uh in f 2.8 and f4 so let's get to it all right so guys here we are a uh, 50th floor of pinnacle at duxton and we are actually doing some night landscape i'm shooting at 1 over 50 f 1.4 iso at 8000 surprisingly uh, on this Nikon Z50 because when I was using the full frame Canon R6 Mark II uh, it actually was at 25,600 so for this APS-C to be doing ISO 8000 in auto is pretty amazing and I have got it uh, I've gone into scenes mode and I've actually selected night landscape so this should be pretty good how's the autofocusing I am still in autofocus uh, mode I did not switch to manual mode because you know landscapes uh, whether night or day we normally shoot in manual mode but I am here I am testing it out in uh, automatic mode and uh, how does it look I've got it on a tripod and just to show you how dark it is, I'm going to show you how dark it is. Yep, yeah, here is uh, the area which I'm filming at, total pitch darkness here in this beautiful, beautiful Friday night. This weather is excellent. You can see there are no lights around, totally pitch dark, except there are some lights uh, in the front of the building. And then we got the cityscape over there. So I'm shooting in automatic mode and I hope that you know, it is in focus. Okay, so now I have no idea how I look like in this pitch darkness. Is it looking good at f1.4, 4K 30 frames per second, 1 over 50 shutter speed in, uh, yeah, I'm using the landscape, night landscape color profile, so I don't think it will be appropriate, but I can't see myself, so I just need to review the clip after this. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm gonna shoot right now, uh, try different apertures. I'm gonna try f 
2.8 and I'm gonna try f4 and that will be about it to see the difference in the pictures quality and the videos as well so yeah let's go So this is 19.5 millimeters full frame equivalent at f1.4. ISO is shot up to about 20,000. And how does it look on this Nikon Z50? A, one of the best APS-C cameras that I've ever used, Nikon Z50. And how does it look? How's the stabilization? This is a non-IS lens. So if you uh, heard my video from two years ago where I was crying, really really hard about not having any lenses after buying the Nikon Z50 and I was actually asking Nikon to come up with something wide angle, wide aperture, with stabilization that never happened but thankfully Viltrox did so yeah that's really really nice it looks it feels a pretty high quality lens uh, I've also bought the Viltrox 85 so I have to test that out uh, but of course uh, that is a portrait lens, so I'm not gonna torture it as much as I'm torturing this 13 uh, millimeters because this is really, really harsh conditions, guys. For me to do a uh, review on a lens in these kinds of conditions is practically the worst possible conditions ever. It's pitch darkness, uh, it's overcast, so there's no uh, moon, it's just clouds, and the only light is coming from the buildings which are like one or two kilometers away and uh, you know Nikons in this kind of uh, environment always tend to be overexposed but I guess that's the way Nikon uh, cameras work a little bit on the bright side of things uh, the stepping of the exposures as well so how does it look this is a really really beautiful view hey guys all the way from Singapore how's the bokeh by the way looks pretty nice it looks overexposed uh, definitely overexposed but yeah this is be a pretty beautiful shot guys check it out Woo! yeah so if you're interested to know where I am if you are coming to Singapore or if you are in Singapore this is the pinnacle at Duxton uh, on the 50th floor so uh, for non-residents you can actually purchase tickets for like six bucks and yep just Come on up here, get a beautiful, beautiful view of the cityscape in the Central Business District. So I've changed arms, uh, by the way. So I'm walking around and we're doing a vlog just to test the stabilization and the autofocus. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 Nikkor Z mount APS-C. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification button. And yep, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming videos back on the Canon R6 Mark II. So, peace.